Well, hi, book friends, and welcome back to Miss Willa's Book Club. I'm your host, Shelby, for the day, and today we are going to be going over our last now and next. We're going to be going over the books that we recently finished, the books that I'm currently reading, and the books that I've got for my August TBR, so stay tuned. We've got another solo episode coming at you today, which brings me into some updates for Miss Willa's book club. Over the next couple of weeks, you might see things looking a little bit differently than you've seen them over the last year. We have had some very personal things going on in our lives, and so we are just going to adapt. So over the next couple of weeks, you can maybe expect a couple more solo episodes. You can expect some interviews, but regardless, it might look a little bit differently. So let us know in the comment section below if you're listening on Spotify, what it is that you would like to hear in the next few weeks. Let us know if there's any books that you've been wanting us to cover or any authors that you want us to interview, any fun book episodes. Let us know. We are open to suggestions. And on today's episode, I am drinking a rosé. Um, I am recording on a Friday, and so I'm celebrating after a very long week. Uh, we are, we've hit that point in August where it's cooled down just a little bit. It has been about 100 degrees over the past few weeks in Denver, and thankfully it has cooled down to the 80s. But I still wanted something a little refreshing, and so I put a rosé in the refrigerator this morning. I have my little stone that my bestie Jenna got for me, and it's keeping my wine cool. So yeah, I'm feeling just like a little refreshing drink, and now let's get into some books. So let's start out with the books that I just finished. The first book that I finished is Lessons of Chemistry, and you guys... I DNF'd this one and I'm so sorry. I just, I couldn't get into it. So I am a woman in STEM. I'm a pharmacist. And the fact that she just kept saying, I'm a scientist, I don't know. It drove me nuts and I just couldn't get into it. I can see how the concept would be really lovely. But you know what? I just, I just didn't think it was for me. And I would have to really be convinced. I got about halfway through and I just, it was a no for me, dog. (laughs) Now, over the past few weeks since we finished Golden Sun, which is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy, I've actually had some really good reads minus the one book that I DNF'd. One of my absolute favorites over the past couple weeks was War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And I felt like this was so fitting because, well, we are Miss Willis Book Club. And so <laughs> this one was so good. And a little backstory. So I had gotten through the third book in the series and the first book in the Flesh and Fire series last summer. And... I, I loved all of them, but then we started the podcast and we had so many other reads that we were doing and uh, we went through the SJM deep dive, which we've still got another series to cover, um, but we went through Akatar and we went through Crescent City and we got so busy that I just, I hadn't picked up this book and after reading it, I don't know how I couldn't have because I think this is one of my favorites in the series. And I know that's super controversial because a ton of people say that as the series goes on that it gets worse and they don't like it as much. But you guys, I have just been like loving each book more and more. I think besides the third one, I think that was the Crown of Gilded Bones. That one wasn't so much my favorite, but this one I absolutely loved. And the other series, which I'll talk about here in a little bit, I am also absolutely loving Nyctos and Sarah. So Flesh and Fire and From Blood and Ash, literally just loving the series. Following another book that we've recently covered on the podcast, I didn't know how I was going to feel about this one, and I ended up loving it. I gave it a four stars, but I think it might have been closer to a four and a half, and I just did an episode on this one last week. This is Reckless by Lauren Roberts, and the more that I think about it, the more that I actually really like this book. Powerless, we felt like, was a little bit... um, 
a lot like other books and I felt like this one was just it was a very different story than I felt like the first one was it doesn't have the trials that we had in the first book but honestly I loved it I gave it a four stars so if you've listened to our mid-year wrap-up, you know that I had not read a single Kindle book. And I love audiobooks, but I mainly lean toward physical copies. Um, over the past few weeks, I've been listening to a ton of audiobooks. My job went mostly remote, and now I only have to go into the office for one day a week. So that's so awesome. But that means that during the day, I have a ton of time to actually listen to audiobooks. And so... The first one that I listened to was Happy Place by Emily Henry. It was my first Emily Henry book, but I gave it a four stars. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. And sometimes when I'm reading a ton of really heavy fantasy, I need something like a fun little romance. And I felt like this was just so awesome. I loved the way it ended and it just... I loved it. And on the Emily Henry note, one of the next ones that I finished over the past couple of weeks was Funny Story by Emily Henry. And I loved this one as well. I just loved the concept behind it. I thought it was so fun. I love the little like revenge crush. Mm, it was so fun. If you guys haven't read Emily Henry, highly recommend. And I listened to them on audio and so I just I just thought it was so fun. Sometimes romance on audiobooks are just phenomenal. So highly, highly recommend both Happy Place and Funny Story by Emily Henry. So during the mid-year wrap-up, I talked about how I had not read a single Kindle book this year. Not a single one, which is crazy because last year I felt like I had read so many different Kindle books. So <laughs> One of the things I did over the past few weeks was find a book on my Kindle that I knew that I wanted to read but hadn't read yet. During the month of July, our book club chose Flawless by Elsie Silver to read as like a fun little cowboy romance since we had been reading so much fantasy over the past few months. I devoured this book, you guys. <laughs> I loved it so much and a few years ago I had actually read I think it's the second or the third one in the series it's called Reckless I had actually listened to that on audio a couple of years ago and I loved it I did not realize that they were connected and I love series where you can kind of go in and like stand alone but I also love me a good cowboy romance because it's kind of my life. <laughs> I feel like I spend so much time with like cowboys and ranchers and dancing at our favorite cowboy bar. And so it just, it kind of hit home. I was like, I've been to rodeos. I've, I'm just, I'm around that lifestyle a lot. And so I understood the lingo and I understand how these cowboy mentalities kind of work. And I've kind of got a cowboy myself. And so it was just, it was awesome. I, I really, really liked Flawless by Elsie Silver. And honestly, I think cowboy romances are making a really big hit right now. So I might have to dive in more to the series. And they're all on Kindle Unlimited. So Thankfully, I'll be able to just pick it up, read it late at night, get a little bit of spice in my life, and there we go. <laughs> okay, so I've clearly been quite the mood reader recently, and I was looking at my Goodreads onto what books that I actually have going on right now, and let me tell you, I didn't realize how many books I was actually reading at a time, which is kind of unlike me. I usually stick to like one, two, three books at a time. But I have five books that I'm reading right now. Five. Crazy. All right. The first book that I want to talk about is Of Truth and Traitors by Amber Palmer. And we, if you guys listen to us at all, you know that we absolutely adore Amber Palmer. And I highly, highly recommend that you pick up her Of Darkness and Fire series. You guys, this is so highly underrated and I don't know why more people aren't talking about it. This is seriously so wild to me. Of Truth and Traitors is one of my most favorite books that I've picked up over the past few months. I'm like, you can see where the bookmark is if you're watching the video. I'm like halfway through and I I love it so much that I don't want it to end. The, the twists, the love interests, the... 
absolute chaos that the main character is going through right now, right now I am just like, I'm living for it and dying for it at the same exact time. <laughs> as much as we rave about Amber Palmer, I think that so far out of everything that I've read of Truth and Traitors is her number one book so far. It is, it is just incredible. Highly recommend if you're looking for a fantasy romance that has some pretty high stakes. It's got the magic. It's got fae. Go pick up of Darkness and Fire series by Amber Palmer. You know, on the podcast, we've been covering the Red Rising series. And we have been loving it. So before Red Rising, I had never read a sci-fi before in my life. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but I loved it. I loved it so much. I'm loving the world building. It's one of these series where you can't just read like right as you're about to go to bed. You can't. It's like something that you really need to sit and pay attention to because there's a ton of characters. There's a ton of, ton of different family names. There's a ton that happens. And so it's not just one of these books that you can just like skip anything you have to be paying attention very closely to what is going on even though I felt like I was paying attention there were definitely things that I missed in both Red Rising and Golden Sun which brings me to I am currently reading Morning Star by Pierce Brown this is the third book in the Red Rising series and again I'm about halfway and I think that this one is it's a very different book than some of the other ones. There's still a lot of travel. There's still a lot of characters. But you guys, this book is like breaking my heart for our main character. And I feel like that's all that I can really say. I'm just, I'm excited to watch how these characters grow and develop. And yeah, I'm loving it. And the really fun thing about this series is that people say that the second trilogy so that includes iron iron gold dark age and light bringer i don't know if you can see them on my shelves in the video um people say that that trilogy is even better than the first trilogy of the red rising series and that just makes me so excited because each book that we've read in the series has gotten better and better so yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited to finish this out. Okay, so the next book that I have is Crush. It's the second book in the Crave series. Yeah, by Tracy Wolf. Okay, so for the first book, I listened to it on audiobook. It's basically a knockoff of Twilight, but I loved it. I was such a Twilight girly growing up that it was just, it was so fun to get the little like hints and innuendos and everything. You guys, this second book is very different than the first book. And I love that it takes different twists and turns in Twilight because it's not the same exact series, obviously. But it's really fun and it's very different than any other fantasies that we've really read. I thought this was going to be a vampire series through and through. I was... I was shocked when it was not. <laughs> I am not incredibly far into the second book yet, but I'm really liking it. I think it's super fun. I'm listening to it again on audio while I'm working and while I'm doing other things around the house. And it has just been, it's been extremely entertaining. The first book that I listened to, I listened to it um, as a dramatized audio, and I decided that for the second one, I don't even know if they have it on the dramatized audio, but for the second one, I decided that I'm not going to do that. Um, the dramatized versions are fun, but there's a lot of um, distinct noises and things that happen. Been, that I just decided I, I was more in it for the story and less in it for like that kind of entertainment so I decided to just listen to the normal version <laughs> if you guys are looking for kind of a, a mind fuck um I'm also reading The First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston and when I started this book I had no idea what it was going to be about and as the story goes on and on, I feel like I'm becoming more and more shocked about what this plot actually is. <laughs> and I have literally no idea what's going to happen. I'm probably 25% of the way through, but I, 
maybe I should start reading the back of the cover or reading a synopsis about what the book is going to be about before I actually go into it. Because let me tell you, when I hit certain points where you find out other things that are going on in the story, my mind was like, what? What in the world just happened? So maybe on that note, maybe it's actually better that I don't read and I go in completely blind because I have this thing and Jenna and I talk about it all the time where we don't know what's going on and then I'm just like literally mind blown and it's like, oh wow, you find out after the fact that it was actually on the back of the cover that the twist was going to happen or something was going to happen to the characters or some synopsis of what the plot is going to look like but sometimes it's fun to go in and not know what's going to go on at all because like with this book like with first lie wins i was so shocked and it has me so captivated but since i have like five books going like it's kind of one of those where i gotta be in the mood to read a thriller okay when i sat down to do this episode okay so when i sat down to make this list i wasn't currently reading this book but we have some really fun things coming up in the next couple of weeks. And so watch for that. <laughs> but I picked up Chasm by Stacey McEwen. And you guys, if you follow her on social media, you know that Stacey is absolutely hysterical. Not only is she hysterical and has done a dang good job of turning her husband husband into the perfect book boyfriend, she's also an incredible author. Last fall, it was just a couple of months after we started the podcast, Jenna and I got a little wine wasted. <laughs> we discussed Ledge by Stacey and we were cracking up. We absolutely loved this book. The episode ended up being like two hours and I had to cut out most of it because we ended up doing like this little funny like ASMR thing and just giggling and talking nonsense and to this day it is one of our most favorite episodes <laughs> and we adored the book. Not only do we just absolutely adore Stacy, her her social media is seriously so funny. She just cracks us up. So I cannot wait for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> and in preparation for that, I am reading Chasm, which is the second in her Glacian trilogy. And I actually received an ARC copy of her third in the trilogy called Valley. And that will be coming out mid-September. So watch for that. We'll definitely make sure to do an episode on that one. So keep your eyes peeled for that. One book that I'm going to start soon that has been... It's been on my TBR for a long time. I think I read the first book last fall. And this book is a high fantasy book. It does not have romance. I had to take this off of my TBR because we were reading so many other things that I just never got to it. And so I just decided to put a pause on it. But that book is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Mistborn trilogy. The Mistborn trilogy is actually Jenna's favorite series. We'll see how she feels after the rest of Brandon Sanderson after she finishes it. But it's so highly recommended by her that I knew I just had to pick it back up. And since we would have some time to do that, I decided to put this back on my TBR. I had to take it off because I just didn't get to it. And there were just so many months where I, I wanted to, but I was disappointed because it just wasn't one that I picked up. And it's not because I didn't like Mistborn. I absolutely adored Mistborn. I think I even gave I think I gave it a five stars. It was phenomenal and the twist at the end and I have no idea how the series is going to continue, which is so, 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 so exciting. Also a little scary. Um, <laughs> but I feel like I need to get back into that Brandon Sanderson. I feel like over the past few months since we had been reading such let's say denser books, and I just didn't have all of the time in the world to read. Now that I finally have more time on my hands, it's time to pick the series back up. So we actually haven't talked about it in a while, but we do run a book club in person in Denver. And so each month we will choose either a brewery, a park where we bring our dogs, or some other fun coffee shops. 
we'll pick a place every month and we'll choose a book at the beginning of the month. And this summer has been absolutely crazy. And so we haven't been able to plan or attend as much as we would like to be. But our August book club pick is The Familiar by Leigh Bardugo. And you guys, the sprayed black edges is so fun. So I did read Ninth House and I I really liked Ninth House. I have not picked up Hellbent, but I decided to pick up The Familiar because we are reading it for our August book club. And so we're going to be doing that at the end of the month in downtown Denver. We don't have a location for it yet, but we will be reading The Familiar for our August book club and we will be doing that within the next couple of weeks here. So if you're in Denver and you're interested, definitely send us a message on Instagram. We'll get you added to that group. Um, I think the our, I think it's going to be in the middle of August. So stay tuned. That might be a little quick for this one, but if you're interested in joining our book clubs for the next few months, definitely let us know. I've heard a fantastic things about the familiar by Leigh Bardugo so yeah I'm excited to pick this one up and I'm super pumped that it's got the fun edges too the last book pick that I have for my TBR for August is a light in the flame this is the second book in the flesh and fire series so this is going to be the prequel to blood and ash series and I am actually reading them kind of in tandem so I went from the first three in the From Blood and Ash series. I read the first one in the Flesh and Fire series. I went back to the From Blood and Ash series. And now I'm going to pick up A Light in the Flame. And this is by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I am so excited to be getting back into this series again. I think it's so fun to go back to series that you're already a part of because... It feels like going back to characters that you already know, and I love starting new fantasy series, but I also really love going back to the series that I'm already in the middle of because it just feels so familiar, and I feel like my brain doesn't have to work as hard when I'm reading about the magic system or the people that are involved or the places that they're going to. Sometimes when I start a new series, I get a little frustrated because it's hard for me to picture where we're at and the magic system and I feel like sometimes if it's not like clearly defined I don't have as great of a picture to it but that's why I love going back to series that I already know and that's why I actually also love rereading series is because I feel like now that I already know what's going on I can understand more of like the little details and little nuances that are set in the book as well. So that is my last book that's on my most current TBR. And I feel like I've got some really fun choices of books that I'm reading right now and that I've got on my most recent TBR. And it makes me really excited for reading again because I feel like in the beginning of the year after we reread Akatar and we read Crescent City and then House of Flame and Shadow was just kind of such a disappointment. And I, I know I bring it up a lot, but I feel like it just it kind of like squished my love for reading a little bit because it was a book that I was so highly anticipated to read and then I just really didn't love it and that was sad for me and it took forever to read and so I wasn't reading other things but over the summer I've really pushed myself to read other genres. I've picked up some romance. I've picked up some cowboy romance. I've picked up some thrillers. I've picked up some sci-fis. And I've been really pushing myself to read other genres because I felt like maybe that was a reason that I wasn't such a reading slump. And now that I've picked up some shorter books and some other genres, I've been really getting back into it again. And I've been loving audiobooks. I've been loving getting back into my Kindle. So I, right now, I'm on such a high for reading and I'm I'm just loving it, you guys. I feel like I'm, I'm back in the game. I'm back in it. And that is just such an exciting feeling for me. All right. Well, that kind of concludes my last now next, the books that I have finished over the past couple of weeks, the books that I'm currently reading and the books that I'm planning on reading right after. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode. We seriously appreciate your love and support. We could not do this without you. Well, you know where to find us. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok at Miss Willa's Book Club Pod. We are super active over on there. So send us a DM. If you do have a book recommendation or you have suggestions on what we should be discussing over the next few weeks, definitely leave us a comment down below if you're listening on Spotify. We see those we can respond to them now so super fun and exciting and engaging and if you are an author or you are a publishing company and you want to connect with us for a collaboration our email is misswillisbookclub at gmail.com thank you guys so much for listening we will see you guys next week bye